guys, Zuljin here, bringing you a quick tutorial on how to add the Miscraft mod to your Minecraft Feed the Beast worlds. Now you can do this server side and client side. First I'm going to show you server. You want to open up your FTP launcher and you want to scroll down to Minecraft pack. Go ahead and download that server. You can choose your desktop or whatever convenient location you like working from, which I already downloaded so I'm not going to physically download it. You also want to scroll down to Magic World here, download that server, and save it to kind of the same place just so you can access them. Once you have both of the servers, you want to go ahead and go to your Minecraft pack, and you want to edit mod pack, go to add mod, and go all the way to your desktop or wherever you saved the Magic World folder. Open up Magic World, Minecraft, Mods, and select Miscraft Uni and hit open. Now in this case I've already added it, but if you haven't, it'll add it to the pack, which you can see here. Miscraft Uni. Now once that's added, it's done client side, we'll need to add it to the server as well. You have both of the packs installed. You want to go ahead and open up Magic World. Take this, excuse me, take this mod, Miscraft Uni, and you want to drag it outside of the actual box onto the desktop or wherever that folder is. Now I already have it on my desktop again, Magic World. Once that Magic World mod is available, you want to go ahead and open up Minecraft mods and that's the server pack that you're in and as you can see there's no miscraft you want to go ahead and take that miscraft uni and add it to that folder it's going to go ahead and cycle through now miscraft will be added so now you can open up your minecraft pack and you can extract the zip file into a folder that you choose. I called mine Minecraft FTP server with mist. You want to go ahead and run your bat service start. Service start is going to load up. It takes a few seconds here. Preparing level world. And basically it's just going to prepare spawn. And it should almost be up. We'll go ahead and minimize these. Run our FTB launcher. We already added the pack correctly. So we should just be able to launch Minecraft pack. Because as you can see, when we edit mod pack, Miscraft Uni is there. Right there. So we'll go ahead and go to launch. And this will also take a while. Now if you do it on your local machine, naturally you'll want to get your IP from using IP config or what's my IP.com. And if not, you'll want to put in the server IP that you have located on your server host. I use Cubehost. Cubehost is really good to me. They're pretty simple. You can just upload all of your files to the actual server, just like you would on your local machine. If you're converting worlds, it's a little bit more complicated, but you just go to multiplayer. And as you can see, test server is up and running. That was my IP. It's hidden for, <laughs> well, you know why it's hidden. And it'll go ahead and log in. And there you have it, you guys. No crashes, no problems. All the mods are enabled, as you can see. We'll go ahead and type in a few things. Book. The linking books are enabled. And type something from, let's see, um, Red Power. Actually, Soul Shards. Because I don't know any Red Power items right off the hand. And there you go, Soul Shards. So, 
all of the great features from both packs and everything is cool so i hope you guys i hope this helped you guys update your packs and i want to thank you for watching as always this is uljin signing off have a good one Thank you.